um, I almost had you on the wrong setting, and I was like, wait a minute, let me double check that. Yay, I'm learning. <laughs> so today has been an interesting day. Um, first started it off with the fact that time change. Uh, one of those times, uh, this morning was one that was just like, oh, lovely. So apparently, um, one of the clocks in the house, I changed it before I went to bed. And apparently mom changed it before she went to bed. And then I was like, so she went, you know, we, we both went in at one. And when she woke up, I was like, wait a minute. Why are we up now? We still have another hour. And I came in the living room and I was like, wait a minute. But that says that. I know I changed my clock last night. But that clock says that. And all the electronics match with my other clock. And wait, what? And it took us forever trying to figure out maybe because sometimes the time change um, has been like off of you know, on a different day than normal, and I checked my computer, and it said, nope, time change happened, you know, last night, blah, 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 and I was like, okay, wait, and then I said, well, I changed the clock, she goes, wait a minute, you changed the clock last night, I said, yeah, so do I, <sighs> yeah, so, gotta love time change, I, I, I don't understand it, I really don't understand why we have to change it, you know, twice a year, just leave it alone, but whatever. Um, <laughs> we are currently watching Catching Fire, finally, um, even though I bought it Friday, watched a little bit of it Friday night, and uh, we're watching it now, finally in the house, because, well, heck, Saturday night, we wanted to go straight to bed once we got home from synagogue, so, yeah, that's been a long night, um, in fun news, it just reminded me because it's on my hand, which you guys can't read unless you can read it upside down. Uh, Sundays are slow at work, at least for my end. So I'm over. We got little Easter candy right there behind uh, my area. And I was messing around in it. And this one guy and his daughter walks behind me. And he walks past me. And I, I just kind of looked at him and I was like, wait a minute. Is that who I think it is? And I see him turn a little bit. And I was like, oh my gosh. Okay, fine. He's going to go over there and not talk to me. I see how it is. And then all of a sudden, you know, I got a customer. And I look back to see if he's still over there. And next thing you know, he's heading back towards me. And he sees me waves. And I'm like, well, hi, Carrie. How you doing? <laughs> yes, it was, it was, as my hand says, Carrie Dale Earnhardt. Um, the, the, the brother of the guy who won the Daytona 500. The daddy of that guy I met in front of Sam's. <laughs> uh, got love, Carrie. Um, so I talked to him a little bit, not much. Uh, he was there with his daughter. He was so adorable, he's youngest. Uh, it's so funny, we're in the dog and she takes off to where the trading cards are. He's like, Kayla, get back here. <laughs> Where'd you go? Uh, it was so cool. And he's like, you know, so you doing good? I'm like, yeah, you doing good? Yeah. He said, you know, how's your mom? I'm like, she's good, too. She's around here somewhere. He goes, all right, you know, tell her I said hi. And then he heads over towards Register 23. Why, well, at that point, I had no idea where she was. But, um, so a few minutes later when I had no customers again, I went and, like, hmm, I wonder if she is down there. Because I could hear Carrie talking. And I thought I could hear her voice, too. And I was like, I'm going to go down there and make sure that, you know, <laughs> they did see each other. And lo and behold, they did. And so she actually was talking to him. was like, um, by the way, I have a bone to pick with you. Or at least your brother. Um, yeah. What, what is with this? Your, only, your brother can only win when you know, my daughter's in the ER. And what, what was it that Carrie responded to that? Well, I told him that Junior's win last year was right after you hurt your foot. Yeah. And this year, just before the season started, you got bit by the dog, and you you just smarted off. Yeah, Junior will probably win the Daytona. Yeah. And before I could say anything about what you've always said, if yeah. if Junior wants to win again, he's got to pay your medical bills. Carrie goes, well, she needs to get hurt again so he can win more races. Oh, you. Hmm, he's a meanie. Yeah. So of course, my first season, well, then Junior can pay for it. <laughs> right. Yeah, so, Carrie's adorable. He's a really cool guy, so, <laughs> even he's just like, sure, go ahead, take the falls for my brother. 
like, uh, and I, like, you guys heard my video, I would happily jump, you know, downstairs and, and slam my hand into the mini car doors of Help Junior win on Junior's dime, too. <laughs> so, Carrie, you heard me. <laughs> um, I haven't even watched any of the vlogs yet, because we came home, ordered some pizza from Awesome Domino's. Um, and watch you catching fire this video that lasts forever um, yeah so I was like oh crap I better film you and go ahead and get that loaded while we're watching the rest of the movie maybe I'll get the other vlogs watched tonight eh, who knows um, I do have ugh, three hours to kill before work tomorrow uh, depending on how my legs are feeling because we danced our booties off this week I'm probably going to go at least try to do a little bit at a time at the gym. Do some, uh, biking maybe. Nothing else. So yeah, I'll be at the gym tomorrow. Gym footage. Um, as I call it, footage I can't add, add to. Um, even though you can barely hear what's on the radio in the gym, apparently you can hear it enough that, yes, I got hit with copyright in my last one. I was like, OAR in heaven, what? What in the world? I mean, cool OAR to the friends with Dale Jr., but I couldn't even understand what that song was, and it's good to know who they are. I feel like I shazammed with my own video. <laughs> but, yeah, so... Either I've got to mute it and do voiceover, or I've got to just... I can't monetize it. Meh, oh well. Um, let's see here. What else happened today besides boring stuff and seeing Carrie? Oh. It, w w without really giving too much information, which I'm not allowed to do. Um, today, one of the policies we have with MoneyGram, we can cash MoneyGram money orders. Um, as long as they're Walmart MoneyGram money orders. Uh, the biggest problem with them is that we can't cash them within 24 hours of them being purchased. It's just the fact that it hasn't processed in MoneyGram system yet, so they can't verify that it's a good money order because it ain't in their system yet. And I had a guy come up and wanted to cash the money orders, and I said, I mean, as soon as he handed it to me, I looked at him and I said, they were bought today, I can't cash them today. I said, you have to wait 24 hours. He said, well, where can I cash them? And I was like, you can check with the bank we have in the store, but honestly, it being a Sunday, I really don't know. So you really just have to wait till tomorrow. Well, apparently he went over to the bank. Next thing I know, I'm talking to a customer and one of my friends and coworkers, Sheena. And all of a sudden, one of the managers walks over and he goes, hi, excuse me. And I'm like, uh... First of all, I'm talking to a customer. Second of all, what do you want? And he goes, so why aren't we cashing these money orders? I said, because they were bought today. I said, most likely, you know, usually if they're bought today, we can't cash them today, 24-hour wait period. And he's like, well, th that's, you know, only sometimes. So can you at least try to run them? And I'm like... You're kidding me, right? <laughs> Inside, I'm thinking, no, idiot. I can guarantee you 99.99% of the time, money orders bought today will not cash today. And as I'm calling money order, MoneyGram, because you have to call it in to get the verification numbers, one of my supervisors came over and he muttered something to the effect of, it's not going to go through. And I said, yeah, I know, you know. <laughs> He, this customer knows, but apparently he wanted enough to management to get them over. Now, how it escalated from me telling him go to the bank to having one of my assistant managers showing up is beyond me. Why I didn't have one of my direct supervisors come over with it. Of course, then again, my direct supervisor probably told them the exact same answer I told them, which is why it got up to a manager. But, so I call MoneyGram, go through the entire process we have to go through to verify it and it said you know we can't you know verify the information blah 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 aka the standard rejection because it was bought within the last 24 hours so I told him I said yeah no I can't do it it's rejecting it 
And I said, you know, you just, he's like, well, you know, I bought in, I needed the, you know, I want to make sure that this person's screamy, they, they can't cancel. I said, no, dude, even if they've got the stubs, the process it takes to cancel a uh, money order like this takes weeks to do. Trust me, I have the paperwork for it. So, yeah, no, he's not going to, you know, cancel this money order on you. And really, what kind of idiot does a transaction with the amount of money he was dealing with and give the person the products without verification of payment. But whatever. You live, you learn, and all that fun. <laughs> I mean, really. I personally would never do a transaction with money orders unless they were over 24 hours old and I knew I could cash them. Yeah, no. Money orders may be guaranteed money, but they're not that guaranteed, unfortunately. Sorry. So, yeah, it was just one of those moments of my manager thinking, I don't know how to do my job, or I just didn't want to do it for him. It's like, no, seriously, I know my job. I know that we've had this issue a gazillion times a day, or at least a gazillion times a week. Um, so how about you listen to the person who's been doing this job for a couple of years and knows rather than you telling me what you think and what you think I should do and what you want me to do because I ain't going to do it. It ain't going to happen because it won't process. So anyway, there's my rant for the day. I, I hate when supervisors do that kind of stuff of, well, you know, we're trying to make the customer happy. It's like, yeah, when the process, you're making me a little ticked off. And two, the way to make the customer happy is not possible. I mean, really, that's like, you know, to make the customer happy, we have to paint the store pink and write daisies on the wall. Well, we can't do that. So, are you going to want to paint the store pink just to make this one customer happy? No. So, shut it. So, there you go. <laughs> My rant for the day. Um, again, I'm not going to name names and specifics because, well, I still want my job. Well, I still need my job because <laughs> y'all ain't paying me enough yet. Um, so, yeah, I will go back to Hunger Games. Woo -woo. Oh, I knew there was something. Look down at my screen. Reminded me. I finished everything in Hunger Games that's on Netflix. Yes, I just finished season, or series, six on Hunger Games on Netflix. Hunger or, Games? Oops, Doctor Who. I'm staring at Hunger Games over here. Mm-hmm. Uh, Doctor Who. Looking at Matt Smith down here, and I... But yes, I finished series six of uh, Doctor Who on Netflix, and um, now I don't know where to get season seven. Uh, I've checked BBC's thing and keep saying not available, not available, not available, not available. Um, I can do Hulu, but I've already done a free trial with them, so I'd end up having to pay them. And uh, no, I got Netflix. I don't want to pay for Hulu, so I'm just gonna have to wait. I guess. I mean, season eight's getting ready to start. Where are they gonna put season seven on Netflix? Hurry up, Netflix! I need my doctor. Oh, no. Actually, I'm kind of running a little bit because um, Photo of Ferret I was telling you guys about yesterday, he did a little bit of a, you know, premature review on Matt Smith's seasons and he gave away some spoilers and I'm like, oh, I don't think I want to watch season seven then. Um, so yeah, I, I'm not sure what I'm, uh, if I want to watch it or not. But either way, I still can watch it. <laughs> it's one of those, I don't want to watch it, but I want to watch it. Um, so, yeah, we'll uh, see you guys tomorrow. Uh, back to Hunger Games. Yeah. Love. Peace. <laughs> I've threed. <laughs> I get it. Peace. Bye. May the odds be ever in your favor.